23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Here's what's making headlines today. In the effort to battle COVID-19, more younger people are starting to get vaccinated. In recent weeks, children as young as 12 years old were able to start getting a vaccine. According to the CDC, more than two and a half million children ages 12 to 15 years old have received their first shots in the U.S. That group has accounted for nearly a quarter of all new vaccinations over the last couple of weeks. And many of those who might be thinking about heading to summer camp, well, some good news for you guys because the CDC says that students attending summer camps who were fully vaccinated won't need to wear a mask. Fully vaccinated campers won't need to distance and won't need to be screened or tested. Campers who are not vaccinated will still need to wear masks. Brandon. The very high heat that we were tracking today is staying with us for quite some time. Our excessive heat warning for the valley is actually in effect all the way through Wednesday, but I think the hot weather could actually last even further into the forecast than that. Let's take a look at temperatures across the county, though, for tomorrow because they are going to be hot once again. 103 in Bakersfield. That's even warmer than what we saw today. 105 toward Ridgecrest, even 99 at Lake Isabella. So very hot all across the county for tomorrow. And again, it's going to stay with us for some time. 102 Wednesday and Thursday, 100 degrees your high temperature on Friday. Looks like we could get into a little bit nicer weather as we head into Monday, though. So some signs of hope on the horizon of getting rid of this weather and getting back to more normal seasonal temperatures. 7 day forecast for our mountain community shows a tiny chance for rain on Thursday for Lake Isabella. But besides that, it's mostly the heat. That's the focus of the forecast. That's your latest update. Have a great night.